Okay, so the uh, molecule kit for ionic compounds comes with several different colors of spheres with specific numbers of holes. For the silver spheres, we have our group one metals like lithium and sodium that each form one plus ions. They have one hole that represents the one electron that they give away. Our group two metals have two holes, as you can see, one and two, representing the two electrons that they give away. Aluminum has three holes in it, as you can see, one, two, and three, three electrons that it gives away. Remember, these are cations, and sorry, and so all metals give away valence electrons. If you don't know what the charge is, you find the element in the periodic table and it tells you its charge. The non-metals are colorful. So our halogens are green. They have one hole because they want one valence electron to be full. Oxygen is the red. It has two holes. Sulfur is yellow. It also has two holes representing the two electrons that it wants to be full. Nitrogen is blue. It's a three minus because it needs three electrons. What holds them together are these little guys. They're called ionic bonds. And what it really is is just showing the attraction from the positive metal ion to the negative charged non-metal ion. So let's try and make something. Let's make Na and Cl. So Na is this guy. So I'm going to take him, put him here, and take a Cl, put him right here. Sodium wants to give away one electron, and chlorine wants to keep one or get one. So we can do this. I take the sodium, and I put the little connector piece in, and now we've made sodium chloride. Very simple. When you draw it, you would draw it exactly like this. Let's try a tougher one. Let's try calcium and oxygen. Well, calcium is right here. It's a two plus. And oxygen is right here. It's a two minus. So calcium wants to give two electrons away. I don't have a calcium represented here, but calcium has two holes, just like magnesium. So we could use this guy. And oxygen is always our red. It's a two minus. Now we want to connect those together. That's a little bit weirder. We're going to need a couple of these guys. They're a little more bendy. And if I put those guys together, give me a second, and I get this. And here's. A, O, calcium oxide. One calcium, two oxygen. And it looks just like this.